are you intimidated by any of these people you work with? So it's like, you get cast in like phenomenally cool projects. You're like, you're in Abby Jacobson's show, you're in Tarantino's movie, you're in Olivia Wilde's movie, like all these things where it's like, these awesome directors. Like, is there a point at which you're just like, oh, actually this is unnerving? Oh yeah, I mean the Tarantino of it all, and to be clear, I had a scene, you know, I'm not trying to, <laughs> let's be clear. Um, <laughs> No, Once that upon was a time in Hollywood. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Um, Boots which, Riley's another one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. No, I. It's um, uh, I mean the Tarantino thing is like a joke. I mean it's like a life dream. It's, it's like weird, right? Gun to my head, like who are the people you would kill? To, you know, it's like yeah. And so that was who were who would be those people you'd kill? <laughs> oh, you know, I mean, who are the big dream? You know, I'm a normal person. I'm like I'm like Tarantino, Paul Thomas Anderson. Mm, yeah, you know, of course, like. Um, just those two. No, there's there's there are plenty, but I mean, it's like, yeah. But some, who would you kill? Is... Who would you kill to work with them? Oh, oh yeah. Who oh, would you murder? Right. Who would I kill? Yeah. Anyone? I don't know. No, no, it can't be. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be someone you don't know. It has to be specific people yeah. you've at least met. Yeah, 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 you've yeah. at least met. Right, right, right. Or they die nonviolent. Yeah, death. yeah. You have to be like Patrick Borelli or someone oh. who, like, we know. Oh I wouldn't even shoot a dog. <laughs> um, but when you were working with like people like Tarantino or, or Boots Riley or whoever, like, yeah, do you have a moment of like, like? A, are you nervous? B, afterwards, do you feel better in some ways? Like, I worked with uh, Tom Hanks and Mark Forrester on A Man Called Otto. And actually, afterwards, I feel more confident as an actor because I'm like, well, I'm not mm -hmm. afraid of that anymore. Yeah, I think there was a thing. The Tarantino job was funny because my character is not, like, funny. Like, of course, like, like all his scripts and dialogue are so funny. So it's like, <laughs> there's no escaping that it's comedy or whatever. Yeah. But it's like, my character wasn't... Like, I had to look in my... Like, I remember being in my trailer. I was, like, looking at myself in the mirror. And I was like, you need to calm down. Don't cross your eyes. Relax. It's not about you. It was like, serve the script. Because wow. I had the urge to be like, look what I can do, daddy. You know, like, I wanted to, like... But it's like, no, I'm just, like, there to, like, execute this. It's like... It's it's like a simple scene. It's a clear scene. Like, don't make it about you. But of course, I have the desire to like because that was also just a straight up audition, like cattle call audition. Like he didn't know me as a comedian oh, or anything like that. So Did you put yourself what, on tape. I went in, and that's actually what that oh. thing did because I, um, that's the only job I've ever gotten from a straight up audition. Really, where the person didn't know me. The and I'm not exaggerating. The only one. And wow. I've been on 4,600 auditions. Yeah. And I just always know I won't get it. And I'm like, well, the job isn't to get the job. It's to make a fan, you know, or whatever. <laughs> so I went into that where it was like, oh, you know, went in 10,000 like women in the waiting room. The walls are paper thin. You can hear what everyone's doing. <laughs> I had to like go out in the hall and be like, because I just was like, I'm going to just start like parroting what I'm hearing through the wall. And then, you know, went in, did it once, left, thought there's no way I got it. And then I got the call. That's so cool. So yeah, but very was very nervous. But he was like so unbelievably lovely and generous, and like he knows what that experience means for me. He knows I'm walking onto like a crazy movie set there for two days. Like he he understands that this is a big deal for me. Yeah, what I've heard about working with him is like also like he loves making movies so well, much that's yeah i mean he was that's exactly the thing i was like this he is like laughing all day like truly like <laughs> yes. loving it it was yeah. just like thank god my god he loves what he does yeah like, dude loves laughing, what he does just yeah loving yeah. it loving it what well, another thing yeah i heard him say watches his own movies yeah. if it's on tbs pulp fiction's I on i'll watch it jackie brown it's so cool <laughs> That rules. He loves movies. <laughs> yeah. Dude loves movies. He loves yeah. his own movies. He's really good at He's it. He should. 